Blocked right up to the goal. Blocked by McCall. The rebound. The Spitfires couldn't get it. Hall at the line. Harry Young with a blast. <laughs> Might have been deflected. It is. It's locked to Yadov. And the Spitfires jump into a 1 nothing lead. We'll see. This goal will come at 6.22 of the first period. And the crowd, oh my, is it loud here. Spitfires draw first blood. Take a look at it here. Definitely a deflection in front. McCollum was down in the butterfly. See if uh, it is indeed locked. I think, locked I think it is locked Yadov. Yes, you're right, Bill. Young will get one assist, and that's 6.22 as Dom mentioned. The Spitfires jump into a one nothing. Peluso. Spitfires knocked down on the play. There's a shot to the line. The foot that they score. It may have gone off Scott Timmons, but Josh Day should get credit, and we're tied at one. Second of the playoffs for Josh Day. Ties this hockey game up on the power play. A good shot from the point right on net. And I think you're right, though, Bill. It may have been deflected. Timmons may have went off of Timmons' stick, and it just took off and right over Andrew Engelage's glove. Let's see right there. You see how it took off. And there was a screen in front of uh, Engelage as well. Played by Lockdown, spun at the hole. Hall taken to the fours by Pereira. Here's a sorry pass for Lockdown. Great move. The goal shoots. Lakhtyanov with a highlight marker, and it's 2-1 Windsor Neal Notch's second goal of the period. What a gorgeous play by Lakhtyanov. Oh my, Bill, that's all you can say when you see stuff like that. This guy's got NHL written all over him. 17-12, the time of the go-ahead goal for the Spitfire. Look at the move right there. Tell him he did it. Lakhtyanov's shot was hard enough, and it got through. Look at him actually got a piece of that. Look at the move right there, though, and, and his hands, his hands are just magical. 17-12, the time of the goal, Hall. Octianov, saucers at the hall for Ellis, there's a shot! Oh, and McCollum, the rebound, score! Taylor Hall as McCollum lost it, and the Spitfires click on the power play, it's 3-1. Nineteen seventeen, the time of this power play goal. Spitfire is now one for two with the extra man. Taylor Hall finds the loose puck, his 12th of the playoffs. And the Spitfire is now to the lead. McCollum was looking behind him. Hall got there before uh, McCollum could reach back and grab the puck. Shots, are, shots on goal are only 12 10. Got it to Henry. Nice saucer pass for Kandari. Kandari with a nice move to Henry for the goal. Makes his movie score! And the Spitfires make it 4-1 to one with two goals in 16 seconds. And the WFCU center goes bananas. Eighth of the playoffs for Adam Henry. Look at the move at the blue line. Rod Albert was taken out of his pants. Look at this move right here. Kandari, I think, made the move at the blue line, and then he sends in Henrique. Oh, my, that's just... Big time hockey right there. And the Spitfires have a three. Taylor Hall with McDermott. Up across the line for Hall. Spitfires back to full strength. Hall with a shot to save the rebound. Scores! Lane McDermott bangs in the rebound. The Spitfires make it five to one. Nine twenty-four. the time of the fifth Spitfire goal. The fourth of the playoffs for Lane McDermott. Thomas McCollum has got to control that puck better, Bill. It was not a hard shot, and he let go a huge rebound. Here's Hall, a weak shot. He's got to control that rebound better. That's a shot he's got to cover up. He's got to send it to the corner. Hit hard by Clark. Now we've got Quitt squared off with Stephon Thorne. Down goes Quitt. Now coming back, Thorne landing the right hands. Quitt comes back with the right. Thorne's a pretty tough kid. They're both throwing a lot of punches. Rob Quitt and Stephon Thorne. In the center ice area, quick trying to get a right hand free. Hasn't been a headlock. Pitches are going to get between the two of them. Stephon Thorne and Rob Quick with a spirited vote in the center ice area. Well, I like what Thorne did there, Bill, for his team. They needed a spark. They needed something to... Paul, now we've got another fight. It's Harry Young and Matt Clark. Young and Clark are squared up. Young land a right hand. Another right hand landed by Young. Clark trying to come back with body shots. Got one over top. Clark, the youngster, down goes Young with Clark on top with 3.55 left in the second period.
two on Wellwood, three on two. Cross the line, rink right feet for Wellwood. Wellwood with a shot, scores! Eric Wellwood, who hit the post earlier, bangs it in, and it's six to one. That's going to be it for Thomas McCollum. His night's over, Bill, as Wellwood fills the back of the net. This goal comes at 17.03. Killeen is coming into the game. For Wellwood, that's his 10th of the playoffs. Again, the scouts just have to be impressed with Eric Wellwood and his play. Killeen comes out, McCollum heads to the bench. That is a huge statement. This is the front centering pass, and it's taken by Hudson, but he's checked on the play. Mitchell with a shot. Oh, and Killeen makes a great save, and he's going to hold on. Oh, my. Killeen gets his first test solid right there by Dale Mitchell. With a crowd forming block by Killeen on the backhand towards the goal. And Rake with a wraparound and a good stop by Killeen. Falling on the play is McGurbert here. Shug. Shug moving in, hooked on the play, but keeps on going. Check with the shots. Just then Shug wires it, and it's 7-1. Oh my, what an effort by Justin Shuggy. Took a page out of Lakhtyanov's playbook there, Bill, as he held on, held on, waited until he got into the open. Nice little fake there. And my, oh my, what a shot. Top shelf as Colleen was down. Look at, he's down the whole way. And Shug had enough sense seeing that Colleen was down, decided to go up, up, back, over the club. This contest with a minute 20 into the Russell line for O'Donnell. O'Donnell for Henry. O'Donnell's in front of Surrey Pest for O'Donnell. Connor yeah! O'Donnell jams it in, and it's 8-1. to one. Everybody's getting into the scoring party here tonight. Well, the Brampton defense just like, looks like a beaten bunch tonight. Here's another example. Spitfire is just too deep up front. They just, they're just beating them everywhere. And how does Connor O'Donnell get that loose in front of the net? Look at the move there by Henry. As he gets around Albert, he makes the pass look easy. Albert's caught flat-footed. Donald all alone in front of the net. Second goal of the... Here comes Austin Watson. Wellwood will keep it in. Now Wellwood has it. Watson, side of the goal, coming out in front of Surrey Pets. Pitfires banging in. Justin Shook is second of the night on the power play. And his Pitfires make it 9-1. to one. Watson and Wellwood will get the assist at 12.04. And the scoring continues here at the WFCU. Fourth of the playoffs for Justin Shug is second here tonight. As you mentioned, Bill Austin Watson will get one assist. Looks like they really use some secondary scoring here. <laughs> I don't think so. Not the crowd is chanting, we want 10. <laughs> I think they've had enough. Here's across the line for Shug. Will he make it 10 to the goal? He shoots, scores, he does! Justin Shug makes it 10, gets the hat trick. Power play goal too, Bill. Yes, and they can't, the hats come cascading down from the Raptors here at the WFCU Center. 16.45, the time of the goal. There's your first star of the night, Justin Shug. A hat trick for Justin Shug. Found the five hole there and beat Colleen with it. Great night for the second year Spitfire forward. Just ramped in nowhere to be found, Bill. Oh, they've, no. they've left. Ten seconds left in this one. McDermott spins off of uh, Thorne. McDermott out of the corner. Two seconds left. The centering pass for Henrik. As Perov does some shoving with Henrik. At the buzzer, this one is over, folks, and the Spitfires win convincingly, 10-1. to 1. Here's Dominic Pompa to tell us about that, and he'll set up our postgame. Dominic? Well, I think the scoreboard tells the story there, Bill. Uh, great job, as always. Good call tonight. And a lot of the Spitfire fans going home very happy as their team takes a 1-0 lead in this best-of-seven OHL championship final against the Brampton Battalion.